Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm going to be doing another game review today. I have played this game um, previously, um, or like just now, to try and get to grips with it. And I thought I'd restart my video because, frankly, I thought I was being a bit harsh on the developer. So I thought I would start fresh and give some pros and cons of the game, but also show you a bit of gameplay. Uh, the game is called County Hospital, and it says here, County Hospital is a single-player offline psychological horror immersive game. Immersive? Slight spelling error there. Um, with jump scares and high-quality assets. Paranormal activity is happening. Gather as much evidence as you can. Try to escape. Try to escape another spelling error, nice and easy to fix, uh, from the building without getting caught. Are you brave enough? Um, now, the game is currently £6.11, down from £7.19 until the 11th of August, if you want to pick this up. There is one review in English that I can read that is negative, and I think the guy was being a little bit harsh. But the key features are here. We're going to come back to this afterwards. So, let's go ahead and get into the actual gameplay here. Nice little logo there for LFR games. And here we go. Now this is actually interesting. So this intro screen, this main menu, is actually the in-game game. Um, so when I click resume here, I'm already in the game. Really cool. I like that. We shouldn't be here. We've got some objectives and some controls. We've got a torch. Um, there's this weird thing on the car. Don't know what it is. Never seen that on the car before. Looks like a, a bandage or a pack of something. But either way, the car is working. We just need to go in, get some evidence, and come back out again. <laughs> don't do this to me. I don't want to lose you. Find the entrance. Now, this one's actually quite easy. As you can hear, there is some voice acting. It's very quiet. The ambient sound, the rain, the thunderstorm, is super loud in comparison to the voice actors. So maybe um, there will be a good to have an option to turn that down because there is no options menu. You either just have it on full or that's it. That's the only option you have. Um, the key features mentions uh, AAA assets. And as I said, I'll go through those at the end of this, but we're going to just show you some gameplay first. I do quite like the level design. I don't like the way these fences are being placed. Okay, here we go. So we're just about to get into the inside. I think you could probably complete this game pretty quickly, um, but I will just say that the keys for the doors are hidden extremely well. Um, I had to watch a few guides to find the keys, actually. Okay, so let's get in here. I don't like this. So this is the main enemy. He's kind of a zombie. He's wearing some jeans. He's got some nice jeans on, actually. Um, but this is the main enemy. Um, that guy is probably what makes the game not as good as it could be. Um, the, the animation of the enemy is not fantastic. I'm not trying to be mean there, it's just just not very good. Um, that could do with a little bit of extra love and care. I don't know why I'm picking these up. You don't need them. It makes no difference if you pick them up. But the first key is up here. Along with a um, cross which we can see in the inventory. The inventory is really nice. Um, you can inspect things, or like this cup for example, you can properly have a look in it. I recognize this kind of texturing. I think this is from Substance Painter, but it's difficult to tell. Um, the objects are quite nice. And then we've got... Where was it? Was it the cross? There. The bloody cross. Which is certainly not a good sign to find in a hospital that's already got a ghost in it, so that could be bad for us. I guess we'll find out. What's this? So key number one opens up the door to the right of the top of the first flight of the stairs. I sense danger. Come in here. Suspicious. There's a key down here on the floor. 
and in this what looks like a fuse box. This one's a little bit awkward to grab sometimes. I think I've actually just broken it because that door's supposed to go on fire and then the enemy's supposed to spawn. So I think I've somehow broke that. Not intentionally. He just follows you around. You know, you're not really missing anything. He just chases you, and if he gets too close, you die. It's as simple as that. Alright, let's have a look see here what we got. A saw blade. I assume there's going to be a key in here somewhere. It's a proper prison toilet, that, isn't it? I'm going to pick up two keys, so maybe this will open up the final door here. No? Okay. Well, there's another room downstairs that we couldn't access before, so maybe we'll be able to now. I'm certain I broke this. Um, I didn't mean to, but um, the enemy does not appear to be spawning at all. Hmm. I don't think there was... I would say that was positively not good. bottle here, pick that up. And I think this is what they were re was referring to on the reviews, is that the keys can be very difficult to spot. I've just shown you where a couple of them are, or three of them, but they weren't easy to find for me either. Maybe he has to spawn for this next bit to work properly. So that should prompt the enemy to spawn. You need to run straight to your left. Just down here. And sometimes he gets stuck. And I think he has just got stuck now. I feel like I must have missed something in this other room up here because oh my shit actually scared me a little bit there I do need him to come down here because I can't actually get up unless he It's a case that the... So that's an easy fix for the developer, because it's an Unreal, there's a thing called a nav mesh. And some of these bits of debris are clearly getting in the way of this. Need him to just come down a little more. try and go up here. He might already be there. I might have broke it. Okay, he's not like super quick. So you can actually get round him pretty easily. And he does get stuck on some things. must have missed a key in this room. Right, so actually, very hard to miss this, but there's a little bit of a button. There, and there's a key. Now that ideally is going to unlock the final door.
Or it might not. I mean, we'll find out in a second. So in that case, I feel like this is going to unlock the door at the bottom here. Oh, hatchet. Yeah, it sure did. So, let's see. Oh, where's that light? Oh, it's there. Everyone is dead. Well, that's a bit defeatist. We're not quite dead yet. No souls. A year old girl came in once. Her parents had been finding her dolls hanging around the house with belts or strings tied around their necks. She went into a rage and held a knife to her own throat. They brought her here to the hospital and during her psych evaluation she said she heard voices in her head telling her she was stupid and telling her to kill herself. She said she didn't want to but she had to listen to the voices. Oh, okay. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty dark. To the chiefs, following her application you gave me your author authorization, authorization for the carrying out of experiments with a view to producing a new kind of spotted fever serum and transferring a hundred suitable prisoners for this purpose. It has been possible to carry out the experiments very satisfactorily. Satisfactorily. I don't think that's the right word, but that's okay. Uh, Dr. Woods, we first practiced on cadavers using your methods came to be known as the ice pick lobotomy when we began performing the trans orbital lobotomy on subjects subject jets another spelling mistake there easy to fix uh, we used an orbitaloclast <laughs> orbito orbitoclast after going through the top of the eye socket I could enter the brain just by tapping lightly on the orbitoclast with a hammer to break through the thin layer of bone. Then it twirled it to cut through the fibres. After pulling out the orbitoclast, the procedure was repeated again. Damn, these are descriptive. The experiment subjects were placed in the water. The experiments were carried out at water temperature. Varying centigrades in one experimental series, the occupant brainstem protruded above the water while the other series of experiments the occupant brainstem and the back of the head were submerged in water using electrical shocks we saw that the subject peaked for his life and then died damn someone was a bit brutal to these people I'm just going to take all these loose books if I can. I don't think you have to, but I feel like one of these books is going to hold something we maybe want to know or need to know. That looks to be all of the books we can take. The woman was horribly demented and her arms and legs were contracted in the fetal position. Her eyes were bloodshot and she was covered in wounds and open sores. Even though she couldn't move those bloodshot eyes would follow me while I was in her room. She kept trying to talk but her mouth was swollen and full of sores. She ended up dying shortly after we changed her code status. Her eyes were open and looking through the doorway. Well that's not terrifying at all. Uh, very odd texture work on this. Oh, come on. That one's actually going through the floor. Just need to take the object, move it a bit higher in the scene, and that'll fix that issue. I'm trying to... Two six six eight 
09. I didn't see a safe anywhere. Missed something. <laughs> Sorry for that brief pause. I just had a little bit of a, a little bit of a coughing fit. Um, I know we've missed something in this room. I've been in all of the rooms and thoroughly checked them uh, during the last pause. So I know last time we found something just by looking elsewhere. Ah, you can read these just at a different angle. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep these for now. This should be all the evidence we need. Ah, there she is. Right there. Perfect. I bet this is for that final room upstairs. No, nope, no it's not. <laughs> it's for this room right here. The one that was on fire not that long ago. So here's the room with all the beds that they were doing all the patients on then. Lots of pills still available here. Blood, blood sodden mattress. That looks like an old um, hand drill. Yes, yes it is. Oh. I promise you I did not know that key was there. Some rosary beads. I notice there's the, um, a fair bit of um, religious material here. It's a cute little toy. There is something there. So we have another key which may very well be for the final room. Already closed the door. What's this? Destroy it. Destroy it now. Must be this door. Ah, well. This might just be the end of me. sure what I'm supposed to use the drill bit for. Ah oh god that fire is definitely spreading. 
At this point I'm sure I've messed up somewhere and I think I'm probably going to die in a moment. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys back in just a moment. Okay, so I'm back at the hospital. Uh, in order, I'm going to show you where to find all the keys. Um, just to make this as quick and as easy as possible. You're best off just picking everything up and keeping it. Even though it makes, I don't think, any difference. So let's just go ahead and do that. Get this key, get the rosemary. And we know that's for this door up here. down into the office get the key I know I missed something um, in the office not in the office in this last room so we're gonna go ahead and collect everything we can find even gonna take the stuff that doesn't matter such as these bits everything from that room. I've skipped an entire section doing this, which is fine. I'm just showing you at this point how to complete the game um, without the ghosty guy spawning actually. So let's... Time is running out. You have to be very quick at this bit. Because the room will start going on fire like before. So you want to get in here, get out of here as quick as you can. And there is a key. I wonder where I can find that. Down in the bottom here. Right. Let's get out of here. back outside he's chasing me or he's certainly trying to I don't know if he's going to catch up to me or not I don't think he's supposed to be able to catch me. Let's do this. Let's get back to the car with the evidence. I can see the red light of the car.
please help me. Go back to game, press I. Oh, okay, that's it. So that was the whole game. Um, now, I already made this video once, and as I said before, I stopped it because I thought I was being a bit too critical of the developer. I have and are actively trying to make my own game. It is not easy, okay? No matter how easy it might look to plop some assets down, it is not that simple. There's way more to it. So let's go back to these key features here. Very high quality AAA assets. I would say actually the assets were really, really nice quality. The objects were nice with great texturing. Um, the level of detail on the map was really good, so there was no lagging. Um, my computer handled this like a little champ, to be honest with you. Um, however, it was a little bit intensive, and I think for lower end computers, it may actually struggle with that a little bit. Um, original soundtrack it was a very basic soundtrack it did the job it sufficed absolutely fine the inventory system was nice you could go into it you could in, uh, inspect individual items look around them it's a really nice inventory system jump scares that will kill your sleep may maybe not so much um the jump scares were not that great in all honesty but they weren't bad either um immersive terrifying atmosphere n not really but the level design was nice, the hospital was nice, um, I did like the way everything was laid out, I think it worked. Creepy history, it was a bit creepy. The doctor's notes, a little bit creepy to be honest, yeah I'll give it that. Perfect for a rainy day with the friends, I'm not sure exactly what this means because it's single player, um, but it was a rainy day and it's raining where I live right now so I didn't go out and I played this instead, so I'll give that merit, I'll say it's true. Um, so, in in summary, is the game worth seven pounds nineteen pence? I would say no. Um, you can complete the game even with the monster in probably less than ten minutes if you're quick enough and you have a good enough eye. So, I probably wouldn't say it was worth that amount of money. Maybe more like two or three pounds. Um, it's clear to me. That the person who made this game has bought some nice assets so they put some money into it some of their own money they have put these assets into the game in a nice fashion which is not a simple thing so I would say actually this was okay I think this person is being far too harsh on this person 2009 having assets like that absolutely not complex inventory system and useless it was complex it worked perfectly fine there was nothing wrong with it uh, jump scares that will kill you sleep no I agree with this one absolutely not and I don't think that's fair it wasn't boring it was a very small map but it wasn't boring under any circumstances um, it would be good if there was a settings menu and for the developer I hope you listen to this video uh, there is actually a free plugin on Unreal where you can put in a setting system or if you go onto YouTube and type in setting system on real game, um, you can follow a tutorial on there and it will do all the settings for you and it will make a settings menu really, really easy to follow. Because you do need that because my computer did get a bit warm during playing this, but not too bad. And I'm conscious that my video is getting quite long, so I may chop some of this out. But in summary, was the game fun? Yeah, yeah, it was actually. Um, is the game worth its price? Probably I would pay a little less if, if I had the choice to. Um, am I happy to see more from this developer? Yeah, I'd like to see more from them. I think you should be absolutely proud of what you made here. Um, because if I could make something even half as good as this, um, I'd be quite proud myself. So, well done to you, um, LFR. I don't know your name. It doesn't say anywhere. So, well done, mate. Uh, good game. And I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you want to try it out. And that's pretty much everything I have to say about the game. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you liked my video, think about leaving a like. Maybe subscribe. Subscribing would be better because I know people are liking my stuff. And leave a comment if you like the look of the game or whether you would change anything. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Cheers and good night.